Hi guys, welcome to my channel, it's the J Life. My name is Jo, if you're new here, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video and joining me on my channel's journey. Now, the universe has obviously guided you here for a reason, so do not disappoint it. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. And do give this video a like if you enjoy it. Drop me also a comment down below, guys, whether you're new or old. I absolutely love to hear from you all. So, we will get into today's video. And it is in paid partnership with Influencer. They have sent me a Vox box to discuss with you. Also, I have a pound haul. Poundland haul. <laughs> Poundland haul. I have a Poundland haul for you as well. So I'm going to show you that. And then we're just going to have a general chit chat. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, stay tuned till just after this short little intro. And I will be right back. around so we'll get straight into today's video like we always do with an inspirational quote and today's is hate has four letters and so does love enemies has seven and so does friends lying has five and so does truth negative has eight and so does positive under has five and so does above cry has three and so does joy Anger has five and so does happy. Right has five and so does wrong. Hurt has four but so does heal. It means life is like a double-edged sword. So transform every negative side in an aura of positivity into an aura of positivity. We should choose the better side of life always. Absolutely love that quote, especially with what I've kind of got going on in my life right now. I don't know about everyone else, but that just is so good. Um, I have been kind of manifesting and looking very much into angel numbers and things. Um, one of my old work colleagues that I used to uh, work with, she used to very be much into all of that and she'd read a book and this, that and the other. And I used to laugh because she used to say, 11, 11, I've just seen 11, 11. And I'd be like, what are you going on about, you know? And it, at the time, I, you know, I wasn't going through anything necessarily negative in my life, so therefore, you know, I just thought, oh yeah, kind of thing. Anyway, um, when this awful thing happened to me a couple of months back, um, I decided to really, really start trying to look into manifestation. Uh, started seeing 1111 all the time. I started seeing other kind of 666, 222, 444, and other kind of numbers. And I started Googling them and Googling what they meant. Anyway, yesterday, uh, whether you believe or not, by the way, I must point out that I think if you're in a negative frame of mind or you've got bad things going on, it doesn't harm. If you start to notice these numbers appearing, it doesn't have to be on the time. It can be a car number plate in front of you. It can be getting put in at room 111 uh, on the 11th floor, on the 11th day of the month seeing 1111, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so if you start seeing these numbers, like 444, 222, 666, 1111, then just maybe have a Google about angel numbers and have a read what them numbers mean. And I'm telling you, if you're in a negative frame of mind, generally speaking, I have a real belief that that is something to do with the universe and guardian angels trying to talk to you or the universe trying to talk to you. Um, and however mad that might sound, I am kind of a big believer in that and at the moment and it's really helped me along this really negative journey in my life. So yesterday I was trying to book my husband a COVID booster jab and I was in a queue and it came up 666. And literally, as I went to say to him, oh, I'm seeing the devil's numbers now, that's not good. It changed to 111. Anyway, when I googled what 666 was and what 111 was, literally, less than 15 minutes, not even 30 minutes, maybe 15 minutes after I saw them numbers, a really, really amazing thing which I've been manifesting happened. When I googled what them was, it just gave me chills because I just thought, this, there is something about this. Um, and I'm not a person who believes in ghosts and UFOs and all of that, but I honestly, it sounds crazy, 
like talking about it like this but honestly if you're going through a negative time in your life just you know and you start seeing these numbers look at look into them because i think there's a meaning behind them personally anyhow we'll get in to today's video so i have kindly been gifted this box box by duracell they are well it's gifted by influencer and it is a duracell optimum box so apparently duracell optimum is supposed to last either 100 or 200 percent longer than the regular batteries so they've kindly sent me this box for you so i think the double a batteries are supposed to last 200 times and the treble a is supposed to last 100 times take even more pictures up to 200 more photos uh, gives extra power makes things apparently faster as well so my husband had the laugh because he said what could i um, try these with so my husband obviously has a filthy mind and came up with a, a great idea um, but we won't discuss that on the channel <laughs> but I'm sure you can uh, kind of feed your imagination with what he came up with you get this little card in here um, it says build faster with quicker rotating screwdrivers your RC toy car will go faster uh, your games controller will last longer and you can take 200 extra photos with your Fujifilm camera so yeah so got like that and they've kindly sent me two packs of Duracell batteries some treble A, four treble A and four double A batteries for me to try out for you so that's really great so I have actually bought some in here which I will try the batteries out with actually because um I think they'll be really helpful actually so I will show you that when we get into it so first up i got now i must say poundland isn't a shop i normally go into because um it's not really in an area that i generally shop in and also i kind of have to go out my way to go to it but not only that ours is quite small and i never feel that it's got much in it but i had a little kind of i was in no hurry today and i've been to the card factory for some uh, family christmas cards i normally get them from funky pigeon to be honest but they can cost quite a lot of money to get them all personalised and everything and I haven't got round to it this year so I thought, you know what, last time I ordered from them in the Covid lockdown, they didn't come, um, they were really, really late sending them out, obviously I guess because all the shops were closed so everyone was buying through Funky Pigeon but kind of like slightly put me off a little bit um, and when I complained I never heard anything back from them and I thought that's naughty because I've used you for years so um, I thought I'd go to the card factory this year for my cards but anyhow these are not from the card factory these are gift bags so you've got some little ones bigger one and um, an even bigger one and they're in this lovely check print I absolutely love tartan and check prints I think there's only three in there I thought actually there was more than that I think there's only three in there, but they're all a pound, so you can't really go... You can't really go wrong, can you? Then I picked up, I have no idea what Pep & Co clothes are like, but Jasmine needed some little bralettes. And generally speaking, when I look at them in other shops, they're always in packaged away, aren't they? And you can often not see them, whereas these were on hangers. So these are 12 to 13 years old and we're only £2.50 for the two so I thought well you know if they're no good you can afford to take a punt for £2.50. So yes yeah, so I've got Jasmine then, they're a little bit girly for Jasmine with the unicorns, the animal prints which you'll like that but maybe the unicorns a bit girly but the little bralettes for a nine year old so it's not like anyone's going to see them is it so I've got them. Then I picked up some party plates. So eight party plates, 23 centimetres, and they just say party on them with this kind of university kind of pattern, starlight kind of pattern. They were a pound each, they, they were a pound each. So yeah, I think that was really good actually. Then I picked up these straws as well. So that is a package actually 25, and yeah, they are paper straws, but they've got the little stars on them as well and they were a pound as well which i don't think is too bad if you're wondering why i'm buying all of this party stuff it's because i had a baby on christmas day 
So Jasmine's birthday party is coming up. It's the 22nd, I think, her birthday party. It's my mum's on Sunday, and then it's Jasmine's birthday party on the 22nd. So as long as everything goes ahead and the country doesn't shut down again, hopefully she's having a sleepover party with her best friend and her two cousins. And I have got these amazing teepees. I'll try and insert a picture of these teepees and this tropical theme and everything. So she's got a popcorn machine. We're going to do pizza and hot dogs and stuff. And she's super excited. Um, I just really didn't really feel like... Well, I left it right for last minute and I... I hadn't booked anywhere and I just didn't know what to do and I haven't been in a great headspace and um, I suddenly thought, just for his birthday, <laughs> I need to sort it out. So yeah, so last minute I managed to get this TP sleepover sorted. So now I'm just picking up some little bits to go in it. Then I haven't bought Jasmine any new party banners for years. So she's always had tatty ones up. So it's really difficult this time of year because you go into the shops and all of the stuff's away and there's only a small selection compared to what the normally is I always find. And every single year I mean to do it like in advance and I never get around to it. But I managed to find this personalised birthday banner that says happy birthday and then you stick the little stickers on it with the person's name. So that's cute. And um, it says hip hip hooray. So that one, and then I've got that party time banner, which is metallic as well. So that'll go really nice with her birthday theme. Now, what did I pay for them? A pound each. So they were a pound each as well. Then I got some pink plastic cups. They were 16 pink plastic cups and they were a pound. There's a theme here, isn't there? Not everything was pound, but a lot of things were a pound. <laughs> so then every year I always get my dad some Turkish delight because he absolutely loves Turkish delight and I normally get it from Aldi. However, I keep forgetting when I go in there and I've seen this and it's actually chocolate covered. So I thought to myself, oh, I've never seen chocolate covered Turkish delight. Guess what? That was a pound as well. <laughs> So that's chocolate covered rose, the light shining on it, chocolate covered rose Turkish delight. Love Turkish delight. Check me a comment down below if you guys like Turkish delight. I absolutely love it. I, I prefer it without the chocolate though personally, but yeah, my dad's a chocolate thing, so hopefully I like that for a change. So next up we have got this Pez dispenser and it comes with the sweets and it's this little Mickey Mouse one. So I picked that up for Jasmine. I thought I'd give it that for part of a birthday present. It was only a pound, which I think is really, really good. And of course we have got our, if you've been following our like channel for a while, we've got a trip to Florida, hopefully, um, next year. So it's great. She's really into Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse, even though we're not actually doing Disney, we're actually doing Universal, let me go. If you're wondering as well why I'm sat in a coat, um, I don't know if you can see it in my garden, it is really, really frosty and it's quite cold in this conservatory. Um, I've got the little heater on but it hasn't quite warmed up, so I'm a bit cold, so I left the coat on. I then picked up for Steve's auntie, she only ever wants food. So this year we have bought a lot of stuff and I'm going to make a hamper and then I saw this little DIY hamper set that contains shredded paper, a bow and cellophane wrap which I thought was really, really good. And then it even shows you on the top how to make the bow like a big red bow. So I thought that's quite cute. So I've got a box down there that I'm going to put it in. And then now I've got the cellophane and the, you know, just to make it nice because I was going to get her a basket um, to do it. But the baskets were like five pounds. And I was like, that is absolutely ridiculous. Five pounds for a basket to put the stuff in to make the hamper. I was like, that is crazy. So I hadn't actually picked one up. So I've got a box, which I'm gonna wrap and then I'm gonna obviously use the cellophane and this tissue paper and everything to make it a lot cheaper for myself. And that was a pound, <laughs> believe it or not, a pound. So then I've got this decorative lamp. I've seen this sat on the side and I thought, wow, that nice for six pounds so i don't know if you can see it but it's this bulb and it's got a little love heart in it so 
So let's try and get in it. And this is what I thought these Duracell batteries. This is what I thought these Duracell batteries would be good. Good to try because it's battery operated. Which I didn't realise when I first picked up, but of course it was only six pounds, so what do I expect really? Ooh, so that's it there. So I think that is absolutely gorgeous. It's glass, and then it's got this, obviously this love heart here. I don't think anything's gonna fall off if I lift it up. And then at the bottom there, that's where the batteries go in. But that, sure does look a lot more expensive than six pounds and it's built really well as well so we'll try these batteries in it now give me two tips and i'll be right back right guys so i'm back sorry that took a little bit longer than i expected because underneath had a little screw that i needed to screw on the battery compartment so these are the batteries that I've got. So obviously I've got AA and AAA. So the lamp takes three AA's. So I have actually put them in. But I just thought this box is really unique. So I sliced open the top here. And then inside it's actually like a little booklet. And then you flip that up and the batteries are all inside. So the batteries are very posh looking batteries to be fair. They look a little bit excuse my nails I've been absolutely nibbling away at them but um they're actually a little bit like carbon fibery style the batteries so other than that just your standard kind of looking at batteries but uh they are very nice and luxuriously packaged batteries so yeah so we'll put obviously that one back in because it's new and it's not being used and we don't want to get it muddled up but that is how the box comes and apparently these are supposed to last 200 times extra longer than regular Duracell batteries. So then we have got this lovely light that I've picked up so I'm going to switch it on and that is actually really bright it probably won't be showing up that great on here because it is so light in here but that is really gorgeous lamp there and it the little heart inside is really really bright actually so yeah so we will see how long they last and i'll let you know in a future video how we'll get our on with those Duracell batteries but yeah thanks very much to Influenza for sending me them out and then in that box box for me to try them for you and talk to you about them and yeah I absolutely love this new lamp that I've got I think I might stick it in here somewhere actually this lamp because it's so pretty yeah so lurking behind me this was the other thing that I picked up this is a one meter felt runner so for this table, now I must say when I picked it up, I was looking for a little bit of a nicer one than this, but a runner's a runner at the end of the day. I think that'll work quite well on our table. It's not the longest in the world, but I do think that that will work quite well actually on our table. So I'll get it out now and hopefully it'll have a chance to get the little kinks out of it. But it's not bad for a pound, is it? I was meaning to get a nicer fabric one, but it will do. Like I say, this is the first year ever that we're going to be doing Christmas Day here at my house. So normally I go to my mum and dad's or Steve's mum or my sister's. But there's a lot going on at the moment and my, my mum's not... Like, she just... she's Well, she's having problems with her eyesight, so she, she can't manage and my dad's doesn't show any interest whatsoever in cooking and, or anything so I just said to my mum this year I said look I, I said I think it's going to be too much for you to do Christmas dinner at your house so then we were going to go to my sister's house which we've done in the past but then my sister's got a lot going on with things and she in the end I said look you know what it's Jasmine's birthday. We've never done Christmas Day in our house. We always leave the cats all day and we go elsewhere. We were only around the corner from my sister's, so we can easily have a walk around and see them or they can come round to us later on in the day. You know, 
I do Christmas Day. So <laughs> I don't know what I've let myself in for. Or I don't know what my guests have let themselves in for coming here for Christmas Day. But I'm actually quite excited, so I'm looking forward to dressing my little table here and getting it all nice. Obviously, minus the cricket machine and all of the crafty nonsense that's on there right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, actually. So it'll be the first time I've ever done a Christmas. So, or Steve has done Christmas. So, yeah, a lot of riding on it. I think my mum's still going to cook the turkey, and we've said that we'll do a gammon joint here in the slow cooker. So if you've got any gammon joint tips for cooking gammon joints, drop me a comment down below because nothing too faffy. Because all the recipes that I've seen, like I've heard about cola and I've heard about all of these different things and rubbing glaze. No, I just want a nice, easy recipe where I shove the gammon joint in the slow cooker with the liquid and cook it. I don't mind maybe getting it out and put it in it in the oven for 15 minutes, but I don't really want to start making glazes and all of that kind of stuff unless it's simple like totally simple like I'm not making the glaze I'm just pouring something on it so if you have any, uh, any recipes like that then do drop me a comment down below because I would love to hear from you so before you all go I thought I'd show you so for Jasmine's birthday I've been getting a little bit crafty with myself so I purchased these black sleep masks just cheaply online I think there was like eight for a couple of pounds and then I have actually put the names on it so there's four of these there's one for Jasmine one for Imogen one for Grace and one for Charlotte I've just picked up Jasmine's just to show you so it's got her name in this lovely gold shiny um it's well it's vinyl glitter vinyl transfer that I've put on there I've done these myself might have put it out and then I picked up these glass bauble mason jars from home bargains when i was in there last week and then i've actually transferred jasmine's name if it's going to pick up transfer jasmine's name on there in gold in, in like a rose gold vinyl glittery vinyl so there's one for jasmine one for charlotte one for imogen and one for grace as well and then they come with these lovely little candy cane drinks they are glass but I really struggled. What I was looking for was like kind of almost like a Starbucks kind of plastic drink. And I was going to do something like Starbucks related and that kind of thing on the front of it. But I just couldn't find any anywhere. And what I could find were really expensive. So these were only a pound each. I've got four of them. So they were four pounds. And then obviously I've personalised them myself. So using my picket machine behind me. So we've got them. And then I picked up these cheap white t-shirts and then I've printed on them Sleepover Squad and this is Charlotte's. So it's the first, one of the first t-shirts I've done really. I've only done a few. So yeah, we've got them little t-shirts that say Sleepover Squad and the little names underneath them. So that's really cute. So yeah, so I think that was everything I've got. I think the other things that I picked up were just from the car factory and it was nothing exciting whatever whatsoever should I say it was just this gift bag and some cards for the family so that was all I picked up from there so we have reached the end of this video <laughs> if you've managed to get to this point very well done for listening to me waffle on <laughs> uh, I thank you so much as always and I look forward to seeing you in one of my future videos Enjoy your Christmas parties if you're going to any and have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.